Hello, Salem. I'm your mayor, Chuck Bennett. And it's great to be back with another, I hope, informative video for you about the great things in our community and at the city of Salem. I'd like to start with a shout out to some fantastic folks for a donation. This week, we received a donation of a thousand bottles of hand sanitizer uh, from Jason Greenwood from Divine Distillers and James Kelly, a Salem resident. Thank you very much for your generosity. I also want to take a moment to mention that there's a great new app from Salem Main Street Association which shows all the socially distant dining and shopping options that are available in downtown. And you can always rely on the City of Salem website to find more information about downtown Salem from restaurants with to-go options to parking. Be sure to watch the video to the end for other business-related services and resources. Today, I have as my special guest, Kristen Rutherford, the Director of Urban Development Department here at the city. She's going to share with us some of the programs and services that the department's been providing to our local businesses in response to the current pandemic. Well, Kristen, thank you very much for, uh, for joining me today. You know, as you know, uh, the coronavirus epidemic has been a genuine catastrophe for our local business community. What's the city been doing to be, to be of assistance to mm -hmm. the businesses? Give, give me some of the examples. Mm -hmm. uh, look maybe downtown and some of the other parts of town. Sure, happy to. Um, before I do, though, I want to say how nice it is to see your face in person. <laughs> yeah, you uh, you know, yeah. we, we've been doing a lot of work, you know, online through Zoom meetings, yeah. as have all of our counterparts out in the community. And I know from people that I hear from in the community, this, you know, face-to-face -face interaction and missing that's a tough one for people. It is. So it's, it is. It's, it's nice to be socially distanced and in person here with you <laughs> Talking today. To somebody. Yes. Yes. Um, so what the city has been doing to work with our business community, you know, this um, first thing that I would like to do is just highlight um, where people can find some of these resources. Yes. Um, the city website if they search for resources on the city website, we do have the COVID page. And that changes? That it changes constantly, okay. yes. And then also we are working very closely with our partners um, to share information. And some of the programs that are available to folks here in Salem are not programs that we directly manage, but are available through other entities. Um, there are even private sector grants that are available for the business community, you know, through the restaurant industries and right. bar associations. And individuals can, can find some of these on the SEDCOR website if they mm -hmm. search there. And then also through the State of Oregon, Business Oregon website. So I just want to make sure people are aware of where they can go, you know, after they watch this to get yet more information. You've yeah. opened. It's mm -hmm. a month yeah. later. Yeah. Now what do I yeah. do? Okay. Yeah, so, so some of the first things that the city did right out the gate was to try to help our downtown businesses um, continue to provide service while being closed, particularly the restaurant industry. Yeah. Um, you had mentioned some of the suspensions and waivers and things that we have done. Um, we have suspended most parking enforcement within okay. the downtown in our metered spaces to help the community and the businesses downtown. Um, we, we've continued to enforce things that are um, like intrusions into traffic or violations in ADA space, but we have not been enforcing the three hour time limit. We have also provided relief for parking permit payments. So um, those businesses um, and residents within our downtown that pay for permits normally in our parking garages, uh, we have been waiving those and that also goes through the 30th. Um, so we have not been charging employees who have continued to work through this or those businesses um, yeah. to pay for permits within the garages. I think one mm -hmm. of the things uh, a lot of folks will be very mm -hmm. interested in who are directly affected, mm -hmm. whether your employees mm -hmm. or employers, are the direct financial yes. resources. How, mm -hmm. Where do I get the check? So, yeah, so um, we as the city are just rolling out our first programs starting in June. Okay. Um, just this week, we've re received council approval mm -hmm. to um, start our own grant programs. So we are going to be partnering with Willamette Workforce Partnership, 
and the grants, um, you'll be applying for any of these grants or direct financial resources through Willamette Workforce Partnership. Okay. Um, we will be issuing a press release probably in about a week with more information about the actual grants and timelines and how to go about applying for and them. And those will be on the, the website. These will also, the information will be on the city's website. Right. I expect it will also be on the SEDCOR website. Okay. We're going to be um, operating two different grant programs for direct assistance to businesses. The first program we will be opening up for application in June, uh, probably towards the second week of June. Okay. And that will be for businesses between six and 40 employees. And we will have $173,000 of city resources that we will be making available for grants to businesses within the community. And this will be community wide. Um, the second round of grants will be funded through federal funding, supplemental funding through the Housing, of Ur Housing and Urban Development Department through HUD. Right. And these will be community development block grant funds. It's um, some special supplemental funding to address COVID impacts. Okay. And that timeline will probably be closer to July. Um, we have had to go through because it's their federal funds and amend plans to uh, include these grant programs. And that has to go back and be reviewed by HUD. And then as soon as that is all through that process and blessed, then we will be opening up that grant program that will also be running through Willamette Workforce Partnership. Those grants, because of the federal limitations, uh, have to target micro enterprise businesses of zero to five employees. Great. Um, <clears throat> so, so the first round, we are not going to be focusing on those really small businesses. That will come later. You know, uh, we talk about the business mm -hmm. support. What else is the city doing mm -hmm. for other parts of the community, uh, uh, for people in terms of their housing mm -hmm. and other kinds of programs that you're involved yeah, in? Yeah, yeah. So through the same um, federal funding that we're receiving, we are also using some of those resources to help people in the community with rental assistance and with mortgage assistance. So that's on the website as well? Yes. Well, Kristen, it sounds like there's lots going on, and I think I hear too, follow this closely because the programs are changing, the money is arriving, and they'll be opening up, open, close, open, close, and people better keep track because it's, uh, we will try to get, and I assume you will too, the information out. So be sure to keep track of these programs. They're very important. They're for business and homeowners and residents. Uh, and they're here to help help you through this very difficult time. And certainly folks like Kristen and her staff are here to work with you. So thank you very much. Thank you, Kristen, very much for being here. Thank you.